Hey everybody, it's Eric J from Northern Gunner. So we are up above Lake Cushman today and uh, up at Staircase. We are going to hike up to Flapjacks, which is about 8.4 miles. And it's basically uphill all the way to the lake. And uh, we're going to do our best to document this for you guys so that if you're thinking about doing this trail, you can kind of see what you're in for. So usually I do these videos all on my iPhone, but I thought, you know, why not try out these GoPros? So I got a Hero 3 Plus, and uh, I'm not quite familiar with how to use it, so I'm going to try and do some videotaping with this Here we are. today. So here we are where the road, basically, the trail divides off and heads up to Flapjacks, or you can go to Black and White Lake. So it gets pretty steep from this point on. So here we are at the lake. We made it. It's the next day. We got in last night at 7 and we were so tired. We left yesterday at 10, 10.55 and um, got here at 7. Anyways, we're fishing and we're enjoying the day. It's probably 9 o'clock this morning. It is just absolutely beautiful. I'll turn the camera around so you can see. Jed's trying to get this fish to eat her bait. The water's so clear here, you just cast right wherever the fish are. He's a nice size one, too. Look, Jen caught a fish. Looks to be about 9, 10 inches long. Good deal. So if you look behind me, it looks like the edge of the shoreline's right there. And it is, but what it is, is it's just a little isthmus or little chunk of land that basically separates the two lakes and there's waterfalls in the middle. And then there's another lake over here. So here I am on the other lake and I'll flip the phone around and show you what the other side looks like. standing on that little piece of land that separates the two lakes. We kind of got the place to ourselves. It seems like I don't really see anybody else around. This is the 4th of July weekend 2016 and I really think, well I know that 
you weren't able to get reservations unless you booked a long time and we booked a long time in advance so I'm expecting every site which there's 12 of them to be full because it's reservation only it used to be six walk-in and six reservations but now um, it's all reservations so anyways it should be several more people up here it takes it takes five to six hours really to hike from staircase up here so I don't really expect anybody until right around noon if they've left first thing in the morning so anyways the views are phenomenal and uh, yeah it's it's worth the hike I know that when you're going up and up and up and up and up and you're thinking <laughs> it's crazy there's nothing worth this but when you get up here and you actually see the mountains and the two lakes and the, how clear the water is then you you just think okay now it's worth it so i i highly encourage don't just come up and spend an hour and then run back down you'll spend most of your time hiking i would definitely come up here and stay a day or two and uh fish relax heal up or whatever get less sore <laughs> and then uh enjoy your trip down so you don't have to be a professional photographer to understand that these mountains right here are best taken pictures of in sunset because you get all the light shining right on them not down on them and not from the backside so this is what i've been waiting for right here sunset so i'll post some of the pictures i took and hopefully you like them i believe this is mount cruiser i could be wrong but I'm going to throw it out there. I think this is Mount Cruiser. Here we are, it's Sunday morning, and we're getting ready to leave. It's been a great trip. We've had a lot of fun. This has been well worth the trip. It's uh, 8.6 miles up here, and it's it's fairly steep. It's, it's not a really easy hike, but um, we had a great time. And if you want to go any further from this point, you can go all the way up to the top of Glad's, Glad's Divide, I think it is. And uh, it's a nice little day hike. The fishing was great. What, take five? Five casts. Five cast, and we got that that nice 10 inch trout. So I um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.